Good morning, everyone. Sunday morning. Happy Easter. Hope everybody's uh, enjoying their Easter Sunday morning. I uh, I just got done talking with my kids and stuff, so they seem to all be enjoying themselves up in Wisconsin. Actually, snow's all gone. It's a sunny day, so I'm happy for that. So they can get get outside and let the grandkids search for Easter eggs and stuff. But me, I'm going to go over here and I'm over here at the shop. Just got here. I'm going to, Justin had gave me a launcher for the parachute. So I'm going to try to come up with a way to mount that thing onto my parachute bracket. I might have to do some fabricating. So... We're gonna get to it. We're gonna go in here and see what's going on. I think some. I think somebody's inside the shop because the door's open. Usually it's closed, so we'll go check it out. What's going on, Big Country? How's that going? Fucking just what I want to do on my fucking Sunday. You know what I mean? Right. Happy Easter to Corey. And it's, uh, must be nice to own your own business. I hear it all the time. Fucking hands are hurting. I cut myself there. Cut myself there. Dude, I even fucking cut myself here. I cut through my motherfucking, <laughs> my drawers and cut my leg. Lucky you don't have a big tallywhacker. You might have cut that off. <laughs> dude, it's like I'm, I'm too old to be fucking with this kind of shit, what do man. You, uh, what do you got going I got to put all these fiber optic cables back together for that TV truck. Tower's off chasing pussy. No good. Yeah. Up to no good. I gotta, that truck's got to go up tomorrow, so got to get it done. Problem is, man, all these wires look the same, but some of them got a black stripe on them. And, dude, I get fucked up. I have them. I, I got it, and I think I got it right. And sure as shit, I'll put the wrong motherfucker. And when you do that, let me tell you something. Because it's soldered, that's it. Cut it all again. This bitch was about six inches longer. I've done cut this motherfucker three times now. This is my third go around. Uh. I've only got three left. It's good now. I mean, I still got to pin check it, make sure everything works, but, and here's the other problem. So when you cut the casing off, this casing is so fucking hard, dude. I don't know what it's made out of, but it's like, you can't. Yeah, I've grabbed a hold of that before. Fire. Dude, it's serious. Yeah. But so when you're cutting around the casing, if you nick a wire, you oh, must... dude, I had one, like, it was like three or four done and I seen two wires were nicked. <laughs> I had to fuck cut it off or do it again. Because <laughs> any kind of moisture gets, gets in there, fucks the it ruins truck up. Right. And then check this wiring diagram out. You got to follow that motherfucker. Here to there. But then look at all this zigzag shit they got going on. Uh. Oh, yeah. Get it done. It's entirely too complicated for my old ass. But so. if I send this thing over to Q's, it's about $1,700. And they'll have it for two days doing it. And I got to schedule it in. So we do it ourselves. But... I did a few of them early on, and then I think Justin did some, and then I trained Tyler, and I ain't done them in a long time, and here I am. Tyler's busy today. Yeah, he's chasing pussy. You know Justin ain't gonna come out here and do nothing. Man. Hey, we got him to take trash out today. How's that gumbo? Oh, I, you didn't I hadn't had none of it. I just. Oh, yeah, you had to go I, I went and ate with the old lady. But, you know, I ain't left yet either. So, I come out here to survey my situation on my parachute. So, I think I'm going to take that bracket off and cut it. And then put my launcher on there and then weld it back together. And we're launching the parachute. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta get this thing right. Oh, and I got, you know. Well, the big thing too. All right, guys, so what we got going on today is we are gonna put an air launcher deal on the pair, on for the parachute. So I've unbolted the old chute that's laying here on the ground. Took the pack off, but we got to modify the bracket now. 
So I got me a grinder with a cut wheel on it. I'm gonna cut this off, take this plate off. I'm gonna leave this on here for now because I think I can just bend it forward a little bit and it'll work. Because what we got to do is the trunk comes down about right here. So it needs to go forward a little bit. Um, so I got my air hose comes out the back here. So I wanna position that new bracket here which gives us, you know, it looks like four inches. We got to go forward so it's not hitting the trunk. So I'm going to cut this off. Then we're going to hole saw a hole in that, the size of this shaft. So this shaft will slide down in there. And then I'm going to weld this bracket back onto here, but we'll figure that out in a second. So let's go ahead and cut this off. this off I'm gonna go grind all this crap off and uh, go from there So we got it ground down smooth. So now we can uh, go over here and take a few little looks at it to see how we can mount it up before I drill my hole. So I'm probably not using the correct tool. I mean, really the correct way to do this would be to just make a new whole deal. But I'm thinking this is gonna be just as suffice. I'm gonna put this on here and I'm gonna bend this out a little bit where that bend is right there. Bend it back straight. We'll see how I should be able to bend it right here on the car. It would be better. dents and I'm just trying to I mean it's just really all it really does is hold the parachute anyway Yeah, 
I put a little dent in it, but I can live with that. Probably gonna have to put that up here. Not this up here. Actually, I'm probably gonna have to cut that off and shorten it because it's gonna, I need to mount it down here. So this piece sits above it. And then I need to bend this end up. But I gotta be careful because of my wing. That's my other problem. Because the parachute on the wing so, probably gonna have to cut this off, clean that up. I thought I had another one of these little brackets because I want to weld it on the bottom. Because I'm gonna mount my, take this off and mount my chute in there. That way I don't have to take it off and I can use this one for my push bar. So, got a couple little things I gotta check out real quick. I'll be back in a minute. All right, so, we got our hole marked out, all cleaned up. We got a hole saw, a couple of drill bits to start the hole. I'm gonna go over here by the drill press, I think, and drill this hole out, see how we, see if we can get it big enough to fit. Be back in a second. All right, so I got the bracket hole sawed out. I gotta mount the pack to the chute. Uh, to the the pack to the bracket and all that but before I did that I'm gonna have to weld this back onto here so kind of getting late in the afternoon I didn't get over here till late but I uh, thinking I might do like that, weld that on there. I'm gonna have to cut this down and shorten it, grind all that up, clean that, cause it can't be up too high because the parachute will hit the wing, which I discussed a minute ago. So, it's always something, always something. But I also have to be careful because I got to have my airlines that come out of here and out of the back. So I might have to get Dennis to build me, uh, bend me another piece of tubing. Actually, I think that's what I'm going to do. And I won't put such a hard bend in it. I'll leave it. 45. I think I'll swing by Dennis's tomorrow and just have him bend me a piece of that tubing or Cody. Now that I kind of know this is going to have to this is going to have to get welded on here somewhere toward the bottom. I don't need that much bend. I'd rather have the chute kind of just flush with the wing or just, just past the wing a little bit and flush. That way when it goes out, it catches wind and opens faster. Um, I think it'll just work a lot better like that, but I'm going, actually, I'm going by Profab tomorrow. I'll just see if Cody can bend me up a piece of that real quick. 
I'll cut that off, weld that on there. Then I can attach my bag and all that and figure out how long I need to be. I might make this bend a couple inches longer actually. Not gonna I would say if it was two inches longer here, I'll cut that off. I'll take that by Cody. Now I'll, I'll make it three inches longer, and then I can trim it to fit. I'm gonna put the trunk lid back on and get it all right. Cause I want the parachute just to be maybe sticking past the, the wing just a little bit but I gotta have clearance because there's a 90 fitting that will run to my nitrous bottle because my chute will be activated. The nitrous will activate my chute or it'll open the chute. I don't have a CO2 bottle or nothing like that. I'll just run it off of, I'll put a fitting, a tie into my nitrous line and that's what, that'll what, uh, give it the charge to, let the push the shoot out when I release the shoot. So, uh, just these little knick-knacky things, but I think it'll be a lot better deal. They're a lot easier to pack too than that spring-loaded deal. Cause you're always trying to push this, push this spring in there and hold it and, and then try to get the thing started. So it's kind of a shitty deal, but I think I'll get that done tomorrow. Maybe we'll finish this video up tomorrow and I'll try to get it out there to you guys, but I think that's the plan. I gotta go up to Hudson anyway, and I'll get that taken care of tomorrow. Cause I gotta drop my pro jacks off, or my jacks off. Cody's gonna finish up my jacks and whatnot, so. We'll go from there.